Ah, oh, sweet. The old Beretta 92 FS. Kind of miss that. I haven't shot it in a while. You might think that's a pretty good size 9mm, and uh, I do. Uh, it's really mm, one of the few uh, negatives I have for this gun is the fact it's 9 millimeter. It's a really big gun and does have the double single action pull. Other than that, it's a superb handgun, I think, pistol. Uh, so that's a pretty big 9 millimeter. Not as big as this one, though, is it? <laughs> uh, you've seen the old AR-15 carbine. That's a pretty big 9 millimeter. Uh, we're going to shoot that thing some more. Pretty cool. So that's a rifle, semi-automatic rifle, unless you put a bump fire stock on it, right? So that's a pretty big gun. Well, there's something in the middle here. Look what we have here. What is that contraption? Uh, many of you already know, but it is uh, an AR-15 pistol, basically, I think people call them. This was 9mm as well, and it fires uh, a 9mm parabellum, of course. Uh, it's got a short barrel not 16 inches that doesn't look very legal hmm well it is because this is a pistol this gun legally is the same as this one or my Glock 26 either one no difference in terms of the law that I'm aware of <laughs> if you know something I don't let me know but this is considered a, a pistol because the barrel is short and the overall length uh, is within certain dimensions uh, including the stock all right, you cannot extend the stock. You can't mess with it. You know, if I put a stock on this gun, uh, extended the stock, slid something on there, like Magpul or whatever, uh, any AR-15 stock and you know adjustable, I would be doing something very illegal without the proper paperwork. You know, I would be turning it into a uh, an SBR, short barrel rifle as it's called, which uses a class three item, which is legal. You just got to go through the pr proper paperwork, just like uh, with a, a select fire firearm so as it is though it's a handgun and a lot of people like these we sort of came by it uh, temporarily uh, uh, won't go into details about that it's probably not gonna be at the compound too long but uh, we thought we'd do a video with it while we had it so it's just an interesting little toy more than anything okay and and surprisingly a little bit easier to shoot than you would think you know uh, first glance at one of these things I've never been that attracted to them you think, well, why would you want this? Because with, uh, say this, for example, the Beretta, you put a 30 round magazine in it, or with a Glock, you know, and you have essentially the same capacity in something that is, uh, I don't know, more ergonomic, I would say. Uh, whereas with this thing, you see what you have. You have uh, kind of a cut off AR, in a strange configuration. Let's pull that, that little bolt back. When you get those magazines fully, loaded you end up with a difficult situation there okay already you can tell it's harder to uh, manipulate there we go all right so let's put the magazine in take a couple shots with it nine millimeter this is uh i believe what i have here got some mixture here of rws 124 grain and i have some uh umc i'm not sure which is which it doesn't really matter we're not gonna try to win any shooting contests or anything today Let's take a couple of shots with it. See if it works, okay? All right, nine millimeter. Uh, when I first picked it up, I thought, how in the world could you hit anything with it? Because, you know, it's not something you're gonna hold out like that. I mean, you could, but that's really awkward. So, uh, you know, and then you can't put it on your shoulder very well, although that is one way that you can. If you're not six eight, actually you can sort of do that. You can get yourself scrunched up and get down there on it like that. Let me take a couple of shots and show you what I mean. So that's doable. Then another way to shoot it is just go ahead and put it up on your face, uh, particularly where it's a nine millimeter. I would not recommend this with a 308. <laughs> you just put it on your jaw and just get a grip there. Kind of like archery, I guess you'd want to get it, uh, get a checkpoint there, an index point where you always, uh, you know, have it. And I'm gonna reach out to the red rifle plate over there, see if it's illegal to shoot at that with a pistol. All right. Not bad. Ha <laughs> ha.
It was falling. I didn't know it. Let's go for the gong. <laughs> so anyway, even though it uh, it looks very awkward, it's not quite as awkward as it appears. Uh, and then of course, you have high capacity. You know your uh, nine millimeter, thirty-three round mags, where things hold. And if you wanted to cut loose at close, you know, range, you know, just like Rambo. some of that. And if you want to pick off a two liter, I think it has a two liter switch on it. Yeah, two liter, 12 ounce. Let's put it on two liter. All right. Oh, had it on uh, 12 ounce. here. Yeah, you gotta have enough ammo to do that. Uh, this particular gun is uh, made by Double Star Corporation out of Winchester, Kentucky, by the way. If you take a look at that, it's uh, fairly new. Seems to be well made and a, a, you know, a good looking gun. I not shot enough to, to really know for sure. And, and that's the case with a lot of firearms, isn't it? Uh, most well made firearms uh, are going to last. They're going to last thousands and thousands of rounds, you know. And uh, but it does seem solid and uh, has a nice, uh, consistent finish and everything. So we've got one more magazine with a few rounds in here. At least let's take a few more shots. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm going to try the shooting tree here a little bit. All right. Interesting. I wonder what I have in there. Those are RWS 124 grain rounds. They smacked it pretty hard. Again, you got a little extra length. You don't have a even a 16 inch barrel, but you do have more length than the average uh, true pistol. Right? Uh, oh, there's, oh, I forgot. John said a couple of two liters on the ground over there. I'll try that orange one. Out. <laughs> I'll try the red one. Uh, I do believe it shoots a little left, man. Don't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, or else I'm just shooting it left. Okay, just a hair. Huh. Pretty interesting. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not promoting this necessarily. <laughs> to me, it's a bit of an oddball. It really is. Uh, we just thought we'd bring it to you and show you. And for some of you, might not be aware that this is even legal. But literally, I could put this in a holster and carry this as uh, you know my my legal carry gun if I wanted to. <laughs> you think Galco makes a holster for that? Uh, it's considered a handgun. Uh, and this looks a little scary as a hand. We had a person here in Nashville uh, that had one. They make these in the AK version as well. And uh, he was carrying one of these in the AK version in, in one of the local parks. And there's a big uproar about that. You know, same old thing. You know, even though it was legal, scary to, to a lot of people, non-gun people especially. And I, I don't know all the specifics of it. He might have been a scary person. I don't know. But they, uh, you know, uh, just something interesting to, to play with and shoot. Uh, but perfectly legal, no more dangerous really, just 
the same old thing. We don't want to fall prey to uh, that type of thinking that because it uh, looks like an AR-15, a machine gun, you know, which was part of what was in play, I'm sure, here in that Nashville incident. I didn't follow it that closely. But it's no different than this when you get right down to it. I can shoot 15, 20 rounds very, very quickly with this gun. You know, I got a 20, 30 round magazine, uh, you know, or I can just reload 10 round magazines. You know, no, no significant difference there, really. Uh, but if this floats your boat, something you think would be fun, why not? Let's take a couple more shots. Since we have a few more rounds left in this magazine, let me walk down here. I see a bowling pin John set up. I think we just have maybe about 15 rounds or something here. Let me try to, let's pretend I just picked it up. And I just, I guess if you work with something like this, it might be handier than you think. I don't know. Hey. I got a, well they call that a spare. I got two bowling pins with one. <laughs> one shot. Let me back up and hit that uh, cinder block a little there. Oh, well, anyway, for what it's worth, uh, that might be something that you just, when you see that, Think, oh man, I gotta have one of those. That is so cool. And that is about as short as you can, of course, uh, get an AR-15, because you do need the, need the buffer tube for it to work. But that also acts as a, as a support. You just can't extend it. You, know, you can't slide a stock onto it. Don't do that, that's a no-no, uh, unless you do go through the paperwork. But, uh, and, and of course, these are available, like I said, an AK, in the 7.62 by 39, you can get an AK to this configuration. And most of you gun people know this already. Uh, and you can get this in 223. And this happens to be a nine. Probably more popular in the 223, I would guess, because it might appeal to some folks to have a, a 223, really powerful round in something this small, it would take a 30 round magazine or something. I don't know. But anyway, that is an AR-15 pistol, essentially. Uh, this one by uh, Double Star, and there are several companies that make them. But I thought you might want to come to the range and see us play with it today. Life's good.